pips on it. Oh my. Yes. Good man. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good, good boy. boy. Off yet. Yes. Yeah. Off. Off. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh. It gets back on there. Yep. Yes. Off. Go to dog stuff. Oh, Ollie. Yes. 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 Good guy. Pulling you away. Let's sit. It was like bacon out here. Someone's cooking something. Mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. About to go on Twitch. We smoking weed out here because we can't dab on camera. And we can't smoke blunts in my apartment. So we're stuck. That vape life coming soon. The gamer. Vaping. Vaping and gaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta get a dome. What we do? We do is we get a green like blow up. Green screen tent that smokes so we can smoke in our tent. Yeah. A sickle? I have it. Oh, I see it. Well, we're switching bots. Nightbot is like Nightbot's a, a ho. fucking cop. Nightbot's a ho. Wait, can I get a plane? Do you want tips? Shit, the... shit! Motherfucker! Oh! All right, so we just hit the first real, like, well, last night was the first Twitch stream, but yeah. today, just got done on Twitch. Uh, I got my first fist kill. Oh, oh, hit this L, son. Yo, brawlers, bitch. Yeah, motherfucker! I got my first kill with a motherfucking fist, because oh, I'm a savage. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got shot. Still haven't killed anybody with a gun. Ernie drove around I, in circles. I had my first game. Um, we're going to run and go grab some lunch. We're going to treat ourselves to Fogo de Chow. Bye-bye. Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, my name is Caleb. I'm new to the Fogo Denver. Oh, uh, okay. I transferred from the Vegas store. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, I hear you guys are a, a, a regular. Then we're going to come back and we're going to hook up some more stuff and we'll live stream again tonight. I'm chilling. Let's go get your wobbler. Wobbler. Dude, I want that skateboard, son. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, that is a good idea. We're gonna smoke ourselves a blunt of green crack. I'm gonna do some training with Omar. We'll do a little more training with Omar. Today's been very techy as well. We've been doing a lot of tech. We're also trying to integrate our lives into Twitch and YouTube. So uh, thanks for bearing with us as we figure all this out. Don't worry, I'll still be copying more shoes than your other favorite you. And <laughs> so uh, this week, so tomorrow, obviously, I've said we got mystery bags coming. In case you haven't been paying attention it's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. That's noon in New York, California, 9 a.m., Chicago, 11. Anywhere else, you're gonna have to Google that shit. Slight change. Uh, mystery bags tomorrow. So yeah, slight change. There are now two different bags. There's a $20 bag and a $40 bag. The $40 bag guarantees that you get at least one sweatshirt. It could be a hoodie, it could be a crew neck, I don't know, depends on your size and when you order. $40 bag guarantees that, uh, plus you may make, get extras. You could get two sweatshirts. You get a sweatshirt and a couple of t-shirts, but you will get at least one sweatshirt if you check out the $40 bag. $20 bag, you're guaranteed at least one t-shirt. You may get multiple t-shirts. You could still get a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. You could get a t-shirt, a towel, and a sweatshirt for 20 bucks. There are plenty in the $20 that are stacked fucking crazy there's some of the forty dollars that are stacked fucking crazy so mystery bag tomorrow that's the change there's two different ones make sure you check it when you, you know you'll obviously see the price difference and um yeah good luck really excited to have this stuff get in you guys hands and hook y'all up so we'll see you tomorrow and headed to toronto toronto merch will be available in toronto on saturday and then it seems like the week after that i'm headed to StockX in detroit for stock x day there's a lot of shit going on Twitching, basketball gyms getting joined this week. Yeah, Monday. Monday. As long um, as we pass our background check. As long as I pass my background check you for, the, check your criminal for the social check. club. It's a social club. It's ridiculous. And I think that's it. I'm trying to think of what else is happening. I know this vlog is... But we really didn't do much other than just like fuck with internet and computer settings this week. So I've been trying my best. Later we'll talk about some Ultra Boost. But right now I'm going to smoke this blunt with Earn. He's going to leave. And I'm going to 
do some other work. So. Nah, he's got game while I'm gone. I already know. <laughs> no, I'm not. Practicing. But I did catch this fool in the room as soon as I was like, hey, do this real quick. We had some business shit to do. I walk in the room and he's loading up a fucking game. Jumped out! <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the preem drop got shut down in Brooklyn. There's like kids running down the street and shit. Another Amazon Prime Now delivery, which is my lifeblood, but as you can see, I still have a couch like hanging out in my living room. The room is in straight shambles because, Jesus Christ, I don't even want to show you this up in here right now. So I gotta get this all clean and straight tonight. It's all fucked. So basically, I've been moving everything into here to get it out of here. I still haven't even set up my TV. I basically just have to clean my whole fucking place. So I'm gonna cut a little short. I gotta get out of here early today. But real quick, let's talk about shoes today. I wanted to um, start going through, uh, you know, just like releases aren't as, as frequent as they used to be right now. And not every release is a cop. And obviously I didn't get any shoes today. I got some shoes yesterday. And some people just like go crazy if I don't talk about shoes for a day. I decided that we will talk about some things uh, related to things that have already dropped. So today's episode of whatever the fuck you want to call it, is top five 3.0 GR Ultra Boosts. People ask me all the time what my favorites of different models are, whatever, whatever. So let's make like an actual uh, place for that information to live. So top five, what I consider GR Ultra Boosts. There's other pairs that people are going to say is GR, like the Silver Olympics people will say is GR, but it's not. And there's other stuff, you know, like the parlays and things that people thought there was too many pairs of, they'll call it GR. It's not GR. So this is like true general release, which is what GR stands for. Um, in my opinion, top five, there's an honorable mention in there. Number one, I would say is the Flame Red, Solar Red Ultra Boost 3.0. This is one of the first ones that I copped that just really like took it away for me. Super sick colorway. These, all and all these pairs sat, so yeah, but the, I believe this is the Solar Red 3.0. Number two on the list is the Wool Ultra Boost we looked at yesterday. And also the first honorable mention would be the Burgundy colorway as well. This is a really nice colorway. A lot of people yesterday were hitting me up comparing them to the Triple Black pair, which is very, very similar, but they all... Oh, they're slightly different. It's very, very slightly different. It even surprised me when I was looking through the list or whatever, like which ones were standing out to me as the best, that none of the triple black pairs are really what stood out. But I also don't know if you can really consider them GR. So that's why I chose this one. And then the third pair is the Trace Khaki. I really like this pair. Uh, someone in the comments yesterday said something about me not liking these because I didn't like the French beige, which I don't think I ever said. The only shoe that I really don't like, like really in like these kind of colorways, I think is the Turtle Doves. I really can't stand the way Turtle Doves look, but that's really the only shoe that really kind of drives me crazy. And this is in no specific order either. It's just a list. Number four would be the Maroon Ultra Boost or Bergen. Was this the Maroon? Yeah, this is the maroon. Some people call it the ground beef. Super sick colorway. I slept on this one for a long time. Really for no particular reason. It was really just because I, I knew I was going to be able to get them. That resale on Boost is not crazy on GRs and that on StockX eventually I'd get them for retail, which I did basically. So is the, I believe they did call this the maroon ultra boost. There's so many colors in the world, you know? We infer, being a human is so crazy. Color isn't even real. That's what's we won't even get into it. Um, getting a call. Hello. I'm working. How are you doing? Okay. Now, back to our program. Number five would be, and I don't remember the name, Trace Olive? Trace Olive Ultra Boost 3.0. There were a lot of green Ultra Boost that came out around the same time. They're all different shades. They're all great. I do firmly believe that in the future people are going to be really sad they slept on 3.0. A lot of people are already really sad they slept on 2.0. Um, but yeah, this colorway especially stands out to me. It was one of, one of the first ones with the 3D printed heel cup and then the leather cage just kills it. This actually may be an LTD now, <laughs> think about it. 
I may have just fucked up my own list. That was like my draws. I was like, it was a GR with a leather cage, but pretty sure this was, but that was the military that was, I'm going with GR on this. You can comment if you'd like, I don't remember. I say it's a GR, but if it's not this colorway, then it's the other green colorway that doesn't have the leather cage. But this one was around, this one was out. I'm gonna go GR. Cause I'm pretty sure the military green was the one. I like how I'm having a conversation with myself. And then my only real honorable mention, which I don't think is really a general release, I just think that it was kind of all over the place. It's one that we didn't really expect to be all over the place. Um, I don't know that it's LTD. I honestly can't remember which fucking boxes they put LTD on anymore. So I'm prop this list is probably a little wonky. This would be my honorable mention, which would be with the multicolor. These were kind of everywhere. They were even like sitting in some stores for a while. So this would be, uh, Probably my honorable mention as a GR because I do believe there were more pairs of this made than uh, some of the other stuff they released. Yep, that's the list. That's the top five, six, basically seven M's in my bank uh, Ultra Boost from the year. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to get out of here and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, we won't see you tomorrow because there's no vlog tomorrow technically, but Twitch. See you on Twitch. Twitching this weekend. Schedule will be going up soon. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed already. You guys are amazing. Followed, and I'll be picking winners for the contest tonight or tomorrow. All right, for real though, peace. Have a great weekend.